Hey everybody, Dee Dee here today with for May Arts Ribbon and now we're doing the Inspiration Challenge Week, me and the other Ribbonistas, for the Retro Challenge and the colors are very, very whimsical and bold and kind of springy and definitely super retro. Bethany, the Ribbon Lady, always does the most amazing job bringing together ribbons that I would never use together. Um... But so I've made a party hat, a giant party hat, and uh, I'm going to show you how to do the couple pieces real quick today. Um, we started with it's just a cone, and it does come up in the bottom, um, up in the up in the back here. Oh, let's focus there. It does come up in the back here, but it's nice and low in the front, and this kind of helps play into the whimsical aspect when you're wearing it. Then it's almost always lopsided, and it's never straight up and down. I've layered two of the ribbons, the faux suede and the pom-poms, the faux suede in kind of the mint greenish color, and then the pink pom-poms, and I've layered the pom-poms up so that they have a little movement rather than dangle down in your hair. Okay, so that's the cone, and this is, um, this is Glitz Designs paper. Now I've also got this die cut here. The die cut is Spellbinders and the paper is Basic Gray and this is Basic Gray too. Um, this is from their Knee Highs line, okay? And then just another quick dab of that suede in mint green, okay? And so those are two parts of the hat. And then I'm gonna take you through real quick ruffling up the ribbon into this into this uh, ginormous ruffle it's amazing and you'll see what we're gonna do with that we're gonna layer it with a like a poof of sorts for the top of the hat and um, that's just a basic walking stitch is what it's called okay and you can see right here it's already started to gather and I, I think I did a video on this before but we're gonna do a couple techniques in this one so I think it'll be okay um, you just go in and come out down, move down, go in, move down, come out. Move down, go in, move down, come out. Okay? And that's all you're doing. Just a super simple basic walking stitch. If you had two pieces of ribbon, you would be sewing them together, but we only have one. So, and then as you pull on it, it just curls up like that. Okay? And so then you're just going to do the whole length. And I probably did, I would say, like a yard and a half or even two yards of that. And then we're also going to make a little pom-pom style. These are the two of the other uh, ribbons that were supplied for the craft challenge, for the retro craft challenge. One super cool orange, like, scalloped edge, knotted edge, looped edge. And then also this, the most amazing, like, bubblegum pink sequin. Um, look, it's stretchy, elastic, sequin elastic. It's really cool. And I... Uh, just as a double thing, once you cut this, you can start pulling. Look at those sequins that are coming off. You can start pulling the sequins off of that if you've got a super hankering for sequins that you don't have laying around. Anyways, how we did that piece real quick. And I'm going to show you. I used almost all my ribbon on that pom-pom that uh, I was supplied with for the challenge. So I'm just going to show you a different way real quick. It's the same way, I'm sorry, with different ribbons. Just a couple of my favorite ribbons. I, they're all my favorite, but... So I've just got four ribbons here, and, and that one I only used two, but basically you just wrap, wrap around your hand, and then you're going to tie there, and I've got this extra bit here, so I may as well use one that blends in. And it's okay if it's messy, it's kind of fun to be ragged and tie knots and... So you just tie it around and secure it, and then you've got your edges. And anywhere that you loop that around, you just snip it. Oh, there came more of those awesome sequins falling off. I'll have to catch all those so I can use them in an upcoming project. And this one's really awesome because they're all different, different lengths. See that? So then you just have this like most amazing like little knot of ribbon. And that's how we came up with this. Now, the, only, the reason this one looks different is because I just used more ribbon, and then I only used the two colors, and I just wrapped them around and around and around. Okay? So then I've also cut a circle just out of some scrap paper, and it's about the size I want. I'm going to be building the, the fluff at the top of our party hat. Okay? So it's just about the size I want. All right? Now, when you're... Doing this next step forward, you can use a bunch of different kinds of adhesives. You could use a hot glue. You could use a fabric glue from Helmar. It does take a little bit longer to dry, but as long as you hold it in place, okay? 
Um, or you could use like an E6000 or, excuse me, or a couple other things. I think I'm going to go with the E6000 to try and get this done just real quick. Oh, this glue is smelly, my friends. Smelly. And it leaks out very easily. Okay. Then, just be very careful, especially with the E6000. Just wrap around and press into place, okay? And then you give that the amount of time to dry that it needs. And you'll need to put a little glue underneath there because it's overlapping. But give that time to dry. And then I'm going to pop another dab here in the middle. The V6000. Look at this cute little trial. Yeah, size. Uh, pay attention to where I'm putting this down. And scrunch it all up and in. And now I just give that time to dry. And there's my nice, see it really was scrap. <laughs> and there's my nice perfect poof for the top of my hat. All right? So be inspired. Get yourself some retro goodness going on, and I can't wait to see what everyone creates. Thank you.